Okay, Javier, vámonos, come on. Rápido, come on. Dame un smile. Hey, Manuel, come on, let's go. Yeah, that's good. Now, where can you get a green card and credit, huh? No place, that's where. I just sold you the American dream. It's called one-stop shopping. No, está bien, está bien. It's okay, they're my friends. Amigo. I've got some good news for you. You're gonna make money coming and going. I need 50 of your men. 50? Yeah, I can do that. I always work for you, Kelly. <laughs> now, I need your strong ones. I, I don't want those twigs you've been coming up with. Hey, they might be skinny, but they work hard, no? I don't need them to work. What do you want them for? Well, scientific project, research and development. Do you want them for West Tech? I talked to you about this before. No way, amigo. I think yes way, amigo. You know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ones you got here in the house, and then I want 50 more. Now, where's my money? Just relax, Kelly. I'll get you your money. All right, boys, let's load them up. Red, come on! Load them! Come on! I can't let you take them, Kelly. What? <laughs> Kill him. trees and they take care of their families like we do and of course monkeys have to eat who can tell me what monkeys eat bananas. very good monkeys eat bananas and they also eat leaves and berries and some monkeys eat raw meat Ew. Yeah. now monkeys that eat meat are called carnivores carnivores means meat eaters now can you guys all say carnivore very good. Yes, Billy? Is carnivore, is that like T-Rex? Yes, T-Rex is a dinosaur and he was a carnivore. He was a meat eater. In fact, a lot of the dinosaurs were meat eaters. And you know what else? Lions, tigers, and cats and dogs, just like you guys have at home. They're carnivores also. Yes, Misty? Do monkeys eat tigers? <laughs> monkeys don't exactly eat tigers, no. But monkeys that we're talking about, they hunt very small animals like lizards and birds. And some monkeys 
even eat smaller monkeys. Like people do. No, Roger. People don't eat people. What about Jeffrey Dahmer? Jeffrey Dahmer was different. He's a very rare exception. In fact, Jeffrey Dahmer was a very, very sick man. I think people are mean. Mm. Sounds to me like Roger's lost his faith in humanity. By humanity, we mean all the people in all the world. And just because there were very few bad ones, doesn't mean there aren't a lot of good people, just like all of us here in this classroom. We're going to have to do something about this. I want everybody to stand up. Everybody stand up, turn to Roger, and tell him how much we love him. Wonderful. And how's my little fairy princess today? Daddy, how many times I gotta tell you I'm not a fairy princess? To me, you are. <laughs> I have to go get ready for my slumber party. Are you gonna take me? Do you want me to? Then okay. Okay. Don't be long. You're wearing my favorite dress. And I'm preparing your favorite dish. Oh, but you are my favorite dish. <laughs> That's um, an awful lot of food. We're having company tonight. No. Yes, yes. My publisher is here from New York, and it'll be a wonderful opportunity for me to talk to him about my book. But I thought we were going to be alone tonight. I'm going to serve the dessert five minutes after the main course, and then the rest of the evening is all yours. I'll take Kathy Kay, and I'll be back in 15 minutes. Round and round, round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round, all, all right, around the town. Daddy, why aren't you singing? You really want to hear me sing? Oh gosh, okay. Let's go. The people in the mess go up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. The people in the car go up and down. All around the town. All around the town. Bye, Daddy. Oh, wait a minute. Come here, come here. I want you to behave yourself tonight, okay? You be a good girl and don't stay up too late, all right? Okay. All right. I love you. I love you too. Bye, Daddy. Bye. Just put the gun down, huh? Go! Go! We see! Te mato, puto! Te mato! I'll kill you both! If they catch me, they'll kill me! And I'm taking you with me! You ready to die, you see? You ready to die? Please, let me pull over. Look, there's too many police. They're gonna get you. Let's just relax. Come on, you're gonna get spooked. Go! Here. Why are you fucking stop me, Boris? and dirt! Hands up! 
thought you were gonna get away from us, didn't you, amigo? We're in the gun top of the road, okay? Slow. Get out of the car. Slow. Don't shoot, all right? Wanna see him? Okay, okay. Don't shoot. I haven't done anything. <laughs> He's a foreigner, a limey. He don't speak good English. He talks with a funny accent. The parish approved this. You wanted a strong one? Hell, here it is. Let's move him in the lab. that isn't anemic or malnourished. I'm not sure about this. We agreed to use illegals, criminals, non-person. But Andrews, he's a perfect physical specimen. The others only lasted a week. If we can only keep him a little more. But this is an innocent man. Doctors, doctors, we'll cover up all the particulars. He's a prime candidate for the program. Look at him. He's in perfect physical shape. He'll make one great soldier, one that will kill without thought. Give him 200 cc's. Alex? Alex, listen to me. What's happening? Help me. I am going to help you. I'm going to give you an injection. It's going to burn a little bit, and I need you to hold absolutely still, or you will have internal hemorrhaging. Do you understand me? Help me.
Get him out of here. You spit on me, you limey son of a bitch. injured 12 of your goddamn agent buddies. Now, is that enough for you? Girl scouts act like you never waxed anybody in your life. We're doing our best. We're doing our best. Don't you pick him up and get him the hell out of here. Now! We'll never find you. Just get some flares or something. We can't just let him go. I don't usually pick up hitchhikers. Where's your car? Did you run out of gas or something? Hey man, you're bleeding. Are you okay? You're not gonna get sick in my truck, are you? There's no doctors around here, man. I got no place to take you. Look, there's a there's a rest stop about two miles up the road. I'll let you off there. What's with all these cops? Crazy. This is my truck. Get out of here. You get out. Hey, man, this is sorry, man. But I got nothing to lose.
Where's he at now? He got through our barricades. He's heading east on Templin. All units in pursuit, now! Choppers. This is Highway Patrol 629er. Chopper ETA 20 minutes. I don't have goddamn 20 minutes! This is Highway Patrol in pursuit eastbound. Big Ring, this is Highway Patrol. Can you help us out? Affirmative, Smokey. You've got the Black Beauty. Still looking for that tanker? Right behind me. Can you cut him off? I'll tell you what. You pay for damage to my rig, and that stone bitch will knock you by me. You got it. Come on. Woo!
Kelly? Where's that fat fuck? Kelly? Kelly here. You do whatever it takes to stop him. You hear me, Kelly? Oh, yeah, I hear you loud and clear. Don't chicken out on me, Kelly. Mark, Tester, stop that bus. Catholic girls and their cute little knee-high skirts. Does Gainer eat bacon or yogurt for breakfast? Where's Burleson? Damn it, where is he? He's on the toxic waste spill in Lancaster. All right, I want you on this maniac Gainer. I'd love to do it, Charlie, but I got the six o'clock on the Baker trial. You want me to give it up? You. <laughs> Not me. I got a remote in an hour. Well, God damn it, who's left? There's Johansson. Johansson, get over here. Yeah. Charlie, I was beginning to think you forgot about me. If only I could. Alex Gaynor, fugitive or second grade teacher. Hard copy wants to know the truth. Is he an international spy or has he just lost his mind? Is there another side to a story? This story is hot. I want you on it now. Great. And none of that private eye bullshit either. Take Bobby T. Hey, Harry. Look, Charlie. She's awfully green. What about Froggy? He's unavailable. What do you mean he's unavailable? I just saw him in the lunchroom. Okay, Harry, he doesn't want to work with you. What do you mean he doesn't want to work with you? I mean he doesn't want to work with you, Harry. Well, you're the boss. Make him. All right, if I had to fire everybody who doesn't want to work with you, it'd be you, me, and the janitor. Now, you have your assignment. Just bring me back something I can use this time. Understand? 
Yeah, I understand. Good. And clean up that goddamn desk of yours. Hey, Harry, I'll do you a good job. Don't worry about it. Yeah, for sure. Get the van. Meet me out front. <laughs> you know, since we're going to be working together, let's get the rules straight. I am your camera person. I am not your valet. I will not be bringing you coffee. I won't bring you donuts. And I won't do your makeup. Get the van and meet me out front. Right. <sighs> okay. Hey, Harry. Yeah. Must be special being a crusader. Yeah, trying to arrest a foreign dignitary for drug trafficking. Not a wise career move. <laughs> well, doesn't make him any the less a slime. Oh, I can see I'm the only real journalist around here. Ooh. New school of reporting seems to be see how far you can truthfully shove your nose up a man's ass. <laughs> and I wonder why it stinks around here. That's that thing growing in your desk. Hey, Johansson. Yeah? Give him hell, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> you sure got it. Yeah. Governor? This just aired. The Geraldo show. Something as terrible as this gainer should bring us together. Build a common bond with our fellow man so we can work together to protect ourselves from violent killers like this. And you don't want to hear the punchline. Made me think we should do a violence platform. Use gainer as an example. Crying out loud. Everybody wants a piece of the action of this guy. You know what? He's going to be as big as OJ. He'll make over a million dollars on just the movie rights alone. If he makes it. No! No! Ha! You've been a bad boy. You've been a bad boy. You're not getting anything yet. No! Not till I tell you. Please stop. Not until I tell you. Ah, you'd be a good boy, Anne. You know what'll happen to you. Why'd you stop? Is Nancy joining us today? No, she had to take her son to soccer practice. Why? Oh, I just thought I heard something. officers and a federal border patrol officer sherman kelly he has left four others in critical condition thank you dahlia now we return you to our regularly Mary, don't listen to any of it. It's all a lie. It's a big misunderstanding. Are the police there now? Yes. Yeah, yes, they're here. They, they say they want to help you. They've been here. Christ, don't listen to them, Mary. Don't listen to them. I can explain everything. Just not... Alex. No, no, Alex. Alex, are you all right? Alex? Alex, what is it? Are you okay? Let me speak to you. Alex? 
Alex? Alex! Trace that call. Get a black and white to that address. Now! Go. You're not gonna hurt him, are you? Of course not. Harry. And information isn't cheap. And sure as hell not free. Well, I was thinking more of uh, dinner. Harry. Hmm. You know that kind of trouble I could get in for this. Oh, come on, Gladys. Live a little. Mm. I'm only doing this so I can get in his pants. <laughs> ah, here we go. Gainer. Alexander Thomas, teacher, Watkins Elementary, second grade. Not much of a record. That's it? Mm-hmm. There's nothing there. This is the guy half the department is after. Well, that usually means they're a good guy. Or an alias. What, what about the Border Patrol cop, Sherman Kelly? Okay, Kelly. Looks like a company man. CIA? Mm, NSA, CIA. It's all the same from this office. A clearance code like that goes to Washington, and it always takes forever to get a file or an official denial. There's nothing to go on, Harry. I mean, this guy probably doesn't even have a parking ticket. You do the camera. I do this part. Okay, Bobby? Fine. Fine. Okay. Options are getting slim. What about West Tech Industries? West Tech. Military subcontractor. A couple of EPA Superfund citations. 80 million in assets. Oh, wait a minute. Here's something. Citizens for Animal Rights filed a cruelty to animal suit against the Research and Development Division two years ago. Case was dropped. Loss of evidence. Well... <sighs> So much for our notorious criminal. Thanks a lot, Gladys. I owe you one. This Saturday night, Harry.
Hi, Mr. Tenney. That's me. Hi. I'm Harry Johansson, Channel 12 News. Thanks for seeing me. I wanted to get some information about West Tech. Uh, we know that Citizens for Animal Rights filed a lawsuit against them, and I was wondering if I could get some more details. What kind of people run West Tech? Unfortunately, there's not a hell of a lot I know about. That was the problem. How so? Uh, we had a tip. They were experimenting on monkeys, injecting them with lethal chemicals that induced violent episodes. We got our hands on one of the dead lab animals and did an autopsy. The bastards were pumping them with benzene, theoridazine, methylamine, traces of hydrochloric acid, and a list of other shit I can't pronounce. It made the apes crazy and go haywire, and then circulatory collapse occurred. As far as we know, they all died. Mr. Hansen? Thank you. Governor, thank you for seeing me. And what do I owe this pleasure to, Mr. Johansson? Uh, well, I, I'm a reporter for Channel 12 News. I know who you are. You somehow managed to talk Riley into letting you in. So what is it? This is about Alex Gaynor, sir. Gaynor? This is a list of contributors to your last campaign. Um, it's in alphabetical order. If you just note the circled company, sir. West Tech Industries? 32% participation, research and development, military contracts. My time is short. Get to the point. I think West Tech Industries is responsible for the mess that Gaynor is in right now. I don't have to spell that out, do I, sir? Say, isn't this an election year? Get him the hell out of here. We'll take it under consideration, Mr. Johansson. I'm sure you will, sir. Please. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Please look at the list. Mr. I think Johansson? Also... Yes, sir. I have talked to Chuck Tenney, and just look at the list, sir. you get in here? I need your help, George. Help you? How? By standing in front of one of your bullets? No, no, no. Just because you married my sister doesn't mean I have to die or go to jail for it. Did you know you're all over the goddamn TVs and newspapers? You're a cop killer! What are you talking about? Can you hear what you're saying? Well, you never know. All that chop suey stuff. You spend more time in the gym than most people spend watching TV. Maybe your brain snapped. You just stay away from my sister and Kathy Kay. I'm a good husband, George. I'm an innocent man. I can't believe you're listening to what they're saying on TV and reading those newspapers. That's all hype, just to improve their ratings. Well, they're doing a good job of it. You're on every goddamn TV channel. I'm just trying to stay alive. Well, do it on somebody else's time, OK? Because I can't help you. I've worked too hard to get to where I am today. There's cops here. They've been here. They've talked to me. They're all over the damn building. If they find out about this shit, I'm in deep trouble. I don't want any part of you, you understand? OK, George. Thanks a lot. Alex, what will you? Alex, I'm sorry. He spotted Alex Gaynor at the Warner Center. Let's get him. Guess what? I, I can't shoot him. 
Whatever. They want it to look like an accident. Let's go. Take her up.
town. Nothing we can't handle? Oh, you think that you can get us in there? Hey, you stick with me, kid. Maybe you'll learn something. Yeah, right. Susan Lane reporting live from the Gaynor's household in Alhambra, California, where at this moment, Gaynor's wife and daughter are inside, anxiously awaiting for someone from Gaynor. Alex Gaynor, high school teacher believed to be insane due to emotional duress, has been on the run since early this morning. During a high-speed chase, Gaynor murdered Border Patrol Officer Sherman Kelly. At this time, we are unable to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't even ask, Carrie. Come on, Bendings. I need this story. Come on, we're drinking buddies. You bought me a beer at Clancy's last week that hardly makes us buzz. <sighs> Besides, I wouldn't even if I could. There's too much brass. Who are the suits? Feds. Fuckers are giving orders like it was lunch. Come on, let me talk to them. Harry, Harry, Harry. You heard what I said. All right, all right, all right, all right. What are you looking at? Well, you said that you can get us in for an interview. I mean, I'm taking really good notes. Did I miss something? Oh, boy, there's always a comedian in the crowd. I'll get you in. So, uh, how often do you go to Clancy's? Mondays and Fridays. Now, we could be good drinking buddies. Hey, howdy, neighbor. Hi. It's quite a zoo out there, isn't it? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm Harry. I'm, I'm a new neighbor of yours. I just moved in down the block. What do you take me for? Oh, right. <laughs> well, uh, inviting me in would still be a neighborly thing to do. Uh, I'm busy. Oh, come on. There's always time to shoot the breeze. Do you know this Gainer fella? Yeah, I know him. You think he's a good man? Yes, I do. But you guys don't want to hear that. Hey, I want to hear the truth. What kind of guy is he? The most honest man I ever met. He's a good friend. He's a great neighbor. Yeah. Would you go on TV and say that? No. No, I don't think so. Oh, come on. You want to help him, don't you? Well, yeah. Yeah. Come on in. Right. Let me get my camera. I'll be right back. Be right back. Alex! What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Frick, can I use the phone? Yeah, well, sure. You know, I tried to, to check on Mary Ann and Kathy Kay, and, and they won't even let me near the house. It's okay, Fred. I appreciate it. Yeah. Do you mind if I use your van? No, oh, sure, sure. Jimmy. Come out. Okay. Tell Kathy to ask her mommy if she can practice the fire drill. Kathy, tell your mom that your dad wants to practice the fire drill. Alex. Some man wants to speak with you. Gotta go. Come on. Come, come. We gotta go now. Come. Alex, this is Special Agent Parrish. I know you've been through a lot of hell. It's my job to make sure you're treated fairly. Like those poor bastards back at the lab, huh? Okay. Uh, we'll set him up in front of the TV. Harry. We'll light the fireplace, yeah. Just a matter of time before you're caught. Shoot this! Oh, Shoot this! this. Alex, hi. I'm Save yourself. And spare your wife and daughter this anguish. You can keep my family out of this parish. I can't do that, Alex. Turn yourself in, and you'll have to get a fair trial. I've seen your idea of fair agent perish. Frankly, it sucks. I got him. Listen, I'm on your side. I'll do whatever I can to help you. Fred, let me keep this ass on the line. Alex! I'm Harry Johansson, Channel 12 News. Alex! Look, you don't stand a ghost of a chance. There are too many people out there. I got this far on my own, and I don't remember anybody asking you for your opinion. Alex, he can help you. Alex. Oh, hi. I'm Fred, his friend. You 
want to help me? Then stay the hell out of my way. Son of a bitch is next door. What do we need, an invitation? Let's get that son of a bitch! Wait, you said you weren't gonna hurt him! Get out of my way! Skinner for approximately four, maybe five minutes. What'd he say to you? He said he was innocent. That's all he said. Oh, yeah. And he said something about someone trying to fuck him over. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Why don't you just tell us where he's at? You know, what did you say your name is again? Oh. Special Agent Parrish. Must be very special having a first name like Special. Are you aware that conspiring with a felon is a serious charge? You mean a suspect, don't you? Or did innocent until proven guilty go out with the Bill of Rights? Listen, I'm tired of your sarcasm. Answer the fucking questions. You're trying to squeeze something that just ain't there special. Plain and simple. You now why don't you arrest me or let me go? Well, you will notify me the next time you make any contact with Gainer. Because if you don't, I'll see to it you never work again. <laughs> Not even in Montana. You're free to leave. Have a good day. Put a tail on him. Taking us in, Sensei. We just had nowhere else we could go. All right. Cue up the tape. Don't let it out of your sight. Got it. Did you really talk to him, Harry? Did you? Yeah, I mean, what was it like? Nasty, I bet, huh? Oh, sure, sure. Yes, yeah, so? Did he do it? I mean, did he kill that cop? I mean, he did do it, didn't he, Harry? Oh, uh, get out of my face. What? All right, 45 seconds, everybody. Let's go. So we're live. 45. Charlie, stop the camera. I gotta talk to Charlie now. Harry. Harry, wait. Where's my copy? There isn't any. That is not procedure. I know that. I didn't have time. Look, do you want the scoop on Gaynor or not? I want to know what the hell you're going to say. I got three million viewers that I got to think about. Well, while you're thinking about your viewers, I'm going to be on the air. The hell you will. Look, Charlie, this is the story. Everybody out there wants it. I got it. Harry, don't do this. I was right there with him, Charlie. And I live to tell the story. Every Tom, Dick, and Mary Jane in television land is going to be watching this. Trust me. Can I, Harry? I know what I'm doing. Don't let him do it, Charlie. He gets you another lawsuit. Shut up! Bakit? Nagbago yung isip mo? Hindi ako pwede maging fugitive. 
Ik zeg zelf van mij, je kan. Ik kan dit niet doen aan Kathy K. en Mary. Ah, wat kan ik me gaan halen? Ik kan het Dit is iets wat ik moet nemen. Het gaat niet door van zichzelf gaan. Ah, zie ik. Alagaan ko ang asawa mo at ang anak mo. Maraming salamat po, Sensei. Johansson, Channel 12 News. If you've been following the story, you know that all of the other stations have condemned Alex Gaynor as guilty. I think there's another side to the story. I was fortunate enough to talk to Gaynor just a few hours ago. He told me he was innocent. And for some reason, I believed him. You want a story? Why don't you tell your views how I was set up for take a fall? They're doing wicked, evil things to people. You guys are completely missing the point. This whole thing's not even about me. What's it about, then? I wish I knew. Alex, did you kill those people? I was just defending myself. They were trying to kill me. Why would the police department and a score of federal agents be running after a second-grade school teacher? Someone who says he's just trying to protect his family? It's a good question to ask yourselves. Maybe there's something we don't see here. Some hidden agenda, perhaps. Another piece of the puzzle. At any rate, I think that before we become judge and jury, Alex Gaynor should have his say. After all, what if he is innocent? Can you believe this? That son of a bitch is gonna get a job with Barbara Walters. <laughs> Inside me, Mary. Come to me now, please. Donuts. <clears throat> Want some coffee? Yeah. Mm, thanks. You all right? <clears throat> no. Come on, it's not the end of the world. I'm not going to let you give up. Well, it sure feels like the end of the world. I've talked to everybody I can think of. I've done everything I can think of. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think I can pull this off. Johansson's desk. Is Harry Johansson there, please? Yes, he is. Just, just one moment. Harry, I think, I think it's Alex Gaynor. Give me that. This is Harry. This is Alex Gaynor. You wanted the story? Well, you got it. On one condition. Live. Live? Governor, I had them run a profile on West Tech. And? They're stonewalling us. We're not on a need-to-know basis. It'll take a week to get clearance. They're gonna kill that son of a bitch. And every man, woman, and child is going to witness it live. And we're not going to benefit from it. 
if I'm going to be sucked into this, I sure as hell want to see it coming. They're not going to kill this guy if I can help it. Get a hold of Senator Baines for me right away. Now you're talking. anxiety kid something they don't teach in school yeah well when you go in there just be careful remember everybody else is saying this guy's a loony too well i don't buy that i don't just buy what other people say but when things get down and dirty you never know which way it's gonna go yeah just tell me where you want the camera good kid look if things do go wrong in there oh geez harry i'm gonna get all choked up hey here. listen to me <sighs> If things go wrong in there, you will be behind me, won't you? Why can't I just zoom in on double extender? Bobby, look, I need you here. Harry, hell yeah, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be right behind you. It's my job. Good girl. There he is. Here, get the camera going. Alex. Thanks for coming, Harry. Your cousin quite a stir here, you know. How's the family? I'm a lucky man, Harry. My family loves me unconditionally. <laughs> well, you are a lucky man. My wife left me for Craig Stevens, the wacky weatherman. I never knew what was coming. So why do you believe me, Harry? No one else seems to. <sighs> well, I may not be the brightest guy in the world, but I know people. I've seen a lot of murderers in my day. I don't think you are one. Are you ready? Are you ready? Mm -hmm, yeah. Good. OK, shoot. You're going to have to help me here, Alex. Help me to help you. Look, I never wanted for any of this to happen. I'm just your innocent guy. Alex, come on. Come on, they're trying to kill you. You're gonna have to give me more than I'm just a regular guy. You want more? Yeah. Let me tell you something, man. They use me like some kind of human guinea pig in this research laboratory. My only alternative was to die. This is good. Bobby, get in close. Zoom in real tight. I know if I'd gone along with what they wanted me to do, I'd be dead on some slab somewhere right now. Who were they? I don't know. I Everything was... Who? Names? All I picked up was Kelly. Kelly. Okay. All right. How did this begin? Tell me how it started. I saw police cars. The next thing I know... There's a guy in my car with a gun at my head, panicking. You, you were kidnapped? I thought he was going to shoot me. Jenkins, we spotted him on level two. West End, surrounded. They shot my arm. I mean, I was full of chemicals, drugs. I have no idea what it was. All I can remember was the pain. Others, there were more? Yeah. They were indigenous, uh, Mexicans, illegal aliens. They only wanted me because... Because what? Why? Because they said I was like them. I was stronger. The others didn't last. They were talking about soldiers, creating warriors that could kill without remorse, making them invincible. Jesus Christ. Look, you gotta believe me, Harry. I didn't want to hurt anybody. I just want my life back. I believe you, Alex. Hey, Harry. We gotta get this in. We got company. You son of a bitch. I didn't do this. You set me up. I didn't do this. Hey, this huh? Harry! Give me that tape. What are you doing? Give that back to me. Give me it. Alex, you're surrounded. Try to leave right now. It'd be really foolish. Think about your family. Bye! Don't you guys ever smile? Hey, Harry. What? 
I got the tape. <laughs> they got the tape, the interview. Oh, Jesus, he's never gonna live to see it. Let's get out of here. It's burning right now, isn't it? The organs, the muscles, the blood, the gray matter, it will all collapse. You'll die. There's a way out. There's an antidote back at the lab. You turn yourself in, you can live. And I disappear on the way to jail, right? Just like you try to throw me off the cliff. Isn't that how it works? I didn't do that, Alex. I'm here to help you. What gives you the right? What gives me the right? I'm a patriot. I love this country. Nobody cares how many sacrifices is made to win the war. They just want results. And that's what I'm going to give them. It's nothing to do with you. Nothing personal. You just were at the wrong place at the wrong time. Let me tell you something. I care. And there's millions of people out there that care also. I care about you. You come back and you can live. Come on. The faster you get back, the better. Come on. the governor you saw Alex on the tube wants us to terminate the mission like hell we will it was an order sir
I told you before, Alex, it's nothing personal. You're at the wrong place at the wrong time. What are you doing? I can't let you do it, sir. Get the fuck out of my face! What the fuck are you doing? Get out of here! Hello there, Mr. Gaynor. Mary. Who'd you think it was? <sighs> You've been through quite an ordeal. You're gonna be fine. No one's gonna hurt you. You're gonna be safe, Alex. How are you feeling? Just a little headache. Just a little headache? Doctor says the antidote seems to be working really well. Where's Kathy Kay? She's right here. Oh. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Princess. How are you feeling? I've been better. Brought you Piglet to keep you company. That's just what I needed. I think Daddy's gonna be perfect now that he has Piglet. So do I. There's a few people waiting to see Daddy. Maybe you and I should go and wait outside. Okay. I love you, Princess. I love you too, Daddy. Do I get a kiss? Yesterday, a single individual taught his country a very big lesson. Alex Gaynor, a man everyone branded as a murderer, turned out to be innocent. And the animal that our government said had to be destroyed turned out to be a lamb being led to slaughter. Ironically, the final movement in this grotesque symphony played itself out right here, in this city mall. A symbol of American culture today. Because it's in places like this all across the country that people from all walks of life come together and try and improve their lives by buying whatever's offered to them. Alex Gaynor would not settle for that. He would not accept business as usual. Against all odds, he stood up for what he believed in. And alone, he drew a line against a flagrant abuse of power and trust. The second grade school teacher, a man who devoted his life to children, has taught them the ultimate civics lesson, that one person acting alone can make a difference, and that the future of our democracy is in the hands of every single one of us. I hope he'll be an example to us all. This is Harry Johansson, Action 12 News. And cut. And take it away.